Now we check some administration workflow features. As we can see, the workflow has a version number. We can install several versions of the same workflow. The active will be the latest. We can see the workflow name, the form's description assigned to a workflow, and the workflow diagram. We can list running or finished workflows with start and end date. We can delete or stop workflows. We can see the execution data of some workflow. And we can see information about each executed workflow node. The workflow variables, for example, the UUID of the document or the invoice variable introduced by the user. We can add new variables or delete. We can examine with more detail each executed workflow node. Now we examine another workflow. In this case, the workflow has divided the execution into two branches. We can examine a finished task node. We show that join node was pending until to this task is finished. From workflow administration view, we can control what is happening in each workflow execution.